This is my favorite in, in this chapter, one of my favorites. I have three stars, then another star when I read it the second time, and another star. Knowing yourself deeply has nothing to do with whatever ideas are floating around in your mind. Knowing yourself is to be rooted in being instead of lost in your mind. Yes. yes. That was beautifully written. Yes. And so the... I mentioned that because some people are identified, many people are identified with external things. We do think we are our roles. Yes, you know, our roles. Because a lot of people have important roles, roles as parents and yes. roles in important positions that affect yes. a lot of people's lives. Yes. And people think that they are their roles and they identify with their status in the world and That's what right. they have achieved. That's right. And of course, it's a question of finding a balance of honoring the role, that, of honoring the function that you have in this world so that's fine. You have to do whatever you're doing. You, you fulfill your function as mother, as father, or in some other capacity, some pu public function, business function, whatever it is. So to honor the function without becoming totally identified with the function. So that always there's still a human being there, not yes. just a function. So knowing yourself deeply has nothing to do with whatever ideas are floating around in your mind, meaning Knowing yourself deeply has nothing to do with me being on television every day, speaking to people, no. and even maybe doing a good job at it, actually doing a good job at it. Yeah. And all the great jobs that everybody else is doing who's listening. Those are identifications, identifications. with form. Yes. And what you're saying is in any situation, whether it's the loss of a loved one or loss of a position or loss of whatever um, that you're faced with, acceptance of the situation and beginning to deal with what is going on now oh. instead of wondering or worrying about what could have been, should have been, might have been, yes. changes, the, changes the, the situation and the way you feel about it. Yes. And that your pain and suffering is called cause and stress is caused because you refuse to accept the now. Yes, you're not one with the now. Got it.